got something over here. Let's go over here first. Oh, come on. Person appears to be to mark. Okay. over there. <sighs> Generator. No one left at this camp. It's still functioning. There are no signs of former occupants. Okay. I feel like we might walk in, we might be about to walk into a trap, guys. Okay, let's go down here. We got that done. I knew it. I knew it. Whoa. Okay, what? We gotta go this way. All right, there's one over there. Whew, that was close. Wow, okay. I knew there was gonna be a trap around here somewhere. one over on that side. Where is it? All right, the big guys are down. Let's get in this building.
We'll do stasis. Who's next? Oh, there's more? Got you. Where are you going? Okay, got them all. We're good. Now let's check this place out. Why were they here? Now let's try upstairs. Discovered the corpse of Captain William of the MSV Majesty. Okay. Well, we have to go let his brother know that he is no longer with us. Okay. So, we are finally getting to Novaria. We are tracking down Liara's mother, Matriarch Benezia. And we need to see what she's up to. We need to see why she's at Novaria. We need to figure some stuff out. And we need to see if, I mean, if she's not on that Geth ship, or not Geth ship, sorry, the Reaper ship, or whatever, the Sovereign. If she's not there, then could she possibly be swayed to go against um, Saren? Well, we need to ch we need to see and we need to check it out. So this is where we're going. Approach control. This is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Hey. That's far enough. Um... Are you the security here? We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. Who are you? You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. And I am with the council. I am a specter. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Oh, I don't think so. That's not gonna happen. We can let them do this, Commander. 
No, we're not. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Well, Spectre. there you go. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Oh, we'll see will about that. Upstairs. Behave yourself. I have a feeling I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have an issue with you. You've got an attitude problem. I'm sure Parasini san will answer any questions you have. Okay. Weapons detectors, don't mind the alarms. Okay. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Well, I appreciate you getting us through, because I really wasn't trying to... I wasn't wanting to kill them, but, you know, I wasn't going to let them take my weapons either. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Um, only that I heard there were Geth here. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. That's Lady exactly Venezia. who I'm looking for. Venezia. She is here? Yes, I. we need to talk to her. Can I speak with her? Venezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Okay, well, that's where I need to go then. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Okay, well, where is he? Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Just out of curiosity, why are there so many guard guards here? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. All right, well, just so you know, I may have to be stepping on some people's toes. I may have to uh, override some people. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. I'm sure I can get one. All right, thank you. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard, about my mother. I think that you and I had plenty of conversation about that back on the ship. I'm not worried. No, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Okay. All right, let's move on. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Okay. Oh, is this, is this a merchant? This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanshan. Yeah, you heard about me already? Well, I'm not surprised. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed Spectre. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. So, smuggling. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. Um... No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm supposed to uphold the law, not break it. This one understands. 
The offer shall remain open. It truly needs the help. Okay, well, I'm here to shop. Could I buy something now? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Ooh, grenade upgrade. I'm in medium armor. I wish, I really wish we had onyx. Oh, wait. All right, let's go talk to Analeas. So we can uh, get through this. We need to go to find wherever Benezia is. How can I help you? Yeah, where's Analeas? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Okay, let's go. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. That's nice. Um, I'm a specter. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Okay, I don't care. I'm on a mission. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. Okay, well, I need to talk to Matriarch Benezia. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Personal escort? What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. And you didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What sort of cargo? What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. Okay, well, I need to see her. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Okay, well, we can drive. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't play ball, I'm sure someone else here will. All right, you're right. Let's go. This this guy's obviously a jerk. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Whatever. Kiss my ass. Let's go this way. We'll find somebody else. Mr. Analeus isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. Oh, really? Okay. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. Yeah, I can see that. I don't care, though. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeus. All right, well, who is this Lorik Keen? You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchen. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. All right, well, that's where I'm going then. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. Well, they're preventing me from doing my job, so... Which isn't good. All right, so we gotta find, so the hotel bar. We have to find the hotel bar. Hmm. You're the specter, right? Um, management told us not to talk to you. Why? Why would they tell them not to talk to me? Whatever, it's fine. 
I don't need to really talk to any of them anyway. Alright, let's go. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. Ugh, really? Okay, fine. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. I'm sorry, have we met? Do you even know me? Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. Why can't you do it? He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Why are you asking me? I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What's your interest in Binary Helix? They do genetics work. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. This sounds illegal, but... I mean, then again, if they're doing something they shouldn't be... All right, I'll do it. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Uh, yeah, I mean, I couldn't hurt. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. Okay, be right back. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Alrighty. All right, let's talk. Can I help you? Um, yeah. I'm a Spectre. Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, Sales. Were you interested in our services? Maybe, if the price is right. I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Yes, but I'm not exactly here on behalf of the Citadel. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in ZG muscle degeneracy. Muscle degeneracy? That doesn't sound good. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. I don't know. 
What about the distrib the distribution, though? It seems kind of high. How would you distribute the upgrades? Retroviral injections would take some time. Well, it does take time to upgrade a body with adjusted DNA. Skin cells could be replaced in two weeks, but the liver takes over a year, and the skeleton a decade. For frontline units, we can speed the process with full system transfusions and injections to stimulate regrowth. It would still take six months to see results. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. You sound a little guilty. Does Binary Helix have any less than above board projects? I'll keep my source confidential. Certainly not. Our corporate reputation is sterling. I can assure you all of Binary Helix's operations on Navaria are strictly on the level. Okay, well, um, I gotta go. I'm being called. Sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I have to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the city now. That won't be happening. <laughs> At least not through me. <laughs> Any results? Yep, it's done. Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. That's it? That's all you're gonna give me for what you just asked me to do? Only 500. All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Uh-huh. All right, well, let's go find Laura Keen. Is this you? Are you, uh, Mr. Keen? Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Uh, well, I, are you the person that I need to talk to? Are you Laura Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the specter that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? Uh, I need to get to peak 15, that's what. I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. What a coincidence. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Really? All right, no problem, I'll do it. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... Oh, what is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. Oh, if they're crooked, I, I'm totally within my rights to uh, take them down. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? Well, I'm not responsible for bloodstains on the carpet, so... <laughs> All right, let's go. See, guys, all this running around just to get to this peak 15 so that we can find Liara's mom. Something else. All right, let's go. Oh, look at that storm. Really is a uh, blizzard out there. 